Kia ora everyone, my name is Derek and I am one of the co-founders of Hanix AI. And the reason why I'm doing this video is to capture the moment of why I started this whole AI journey. I've been passionate about AI and one thing that I found was that a lot of people, especially in New Zealand, in Auckland specifically, but also around the world, aren't adopting this crazy technology. I started on my journey doing YouTube videos to showcase tools and platforms and learned a lot doing video editing, which was, which was great and awesome experience. But what soon became obvious was I needed to invest a lot of effort. We're talking every minute of recording was some level of editing, there's also a bunch of scripting and everything that goes on, and it's quite a lot of effort. So I stopped when I had the opportunity to start my own business and go into consultancy. Simply, how do we leave full-time employee work, go into what's known as self-employment and leverage my skills of everything that I learned with AI to then help others get the best out of it, help other businesses. And that was the crux of it. And that's how Harnix AI formed. What I realized is that as soon as you start doing exactly what you want for money, it can get tedious. It can get boring. You can even miss the opportunities or the passion that you previously had in starting or even the mission statement. What I learned very quickly was there was so much to business strategy, how people consume AI and all of the opportunities and signals that come from running it. That whole journey is fascinating. I would not trade anything. I would not go back to full-time employment. There were multiple opportunities that also came that really ignited my giving back to community. One was, was a person approached me through LinkedIn and said, hey, I really love what you're doing with your business. And I want to get mentorship. I'm really passionate about getting into the space and starting my own thing. And I just love to join your journey through some sort of mentorship program. And at first I was like, oh, wow, I don't have time. I'm very time poor. This is crazy. How can I do this effectively? But I leaned in because when I was working at in New Zealand, I sent the exact same thing to uh, Nikhil. And Nikhil is now the CEO of Air New Zealand. He was CTO at the time. This man, intelligent, strategic, same thing. I approached him with the conversation of, I want to learn more. I want to grow. And I think there's a lot to learn from you. He said yes. Half an hour every quarter, he'd give me some time, which is an insane to even think of. And I thought, let's pay that forward. Since then, there's been the questions that this person has asked me and how passionate I saw this individual who translated into seeing if there was opportunity for this person to do contract work. I think that, that is awesome and phenomenal. And there's a lot of learnings that one can get from doing exactly that. I don't want to just stop there because there was also another workshop that I ran with my co-founder called Vibe Coding for startups. This was where it really solidified for me. There were a bunch of AI enthusiasts wanting to learn about AI tools, agents, everything. And the whole premise was, how do you do it as a startup? How do you do it as a founder? as a self-starter or someone that's AI curious. It was our moment to showcase full creative license on how we utilize these tools. And that was probably one of the most dopamine accelerating things I could have done because it was altruistic. It was exactly everything I started for, why I started YouTube and why I then started this business to help other businesses and make a living. And another story that I'd like to share to solidify why I think this would be a good thing to start back up again. I went to my gym and six months ago, I told the trainer at the gym, hey, you should use AI. Like 
go and play with it, told them about Claude, ChatGPT. And I could tell this person was eager to learn. And so when this person then started playing with it, six months later, I go back to the gym. To be fair, I didn't, there was a few months where I was on and off, not really going, but go back and I see him again. And he comes back to me and says, I've been using AI all the time and it's been amazing. I've been learning so much and I got a promotion at work because you told me to use it. I saved the business so much money because they don't have to go and find this person to always do these mundane, tedious tasks that I was doing. I was taking on and AI was helping me do it. And that reason, that 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 signal is why I think I need to come back and share my story. In this startup journey, there are so many blessings and bad days and lessons and signals, right, to share to those that want to. I have no expectation of this. In fact, I am trying the least amount of effort, which is jump on a recording, speak my mind. I've been told that I can be a great communicator, so maybe that's all that I need have a brain dump of my thoughts of how it is to go on this journey and see if it clicks to anyone out there. I think I'm going to tailor it towards founders and entrepreneurs, but anyone that's AI curious, just come along. The mission statement is still to its core. Harness AI for the benefit of humanity. I'm doing that through my business and hopefully through this. For those interested in the journey, go on my LinkedIn. I'm very active on there, potentially addicted to LinkedIn. We're not perfect. That's the reason I'm coming back. I thought I'd start the journey here and the next few videos will just be very clear topics on on business, on life, on on how it how it's like to, to evolve in this space and really dive deep into into that with the specific lens of AI, which is my expertise. So yeah, stay stay tuned.